An important, though not very visible, activity in the course of the OWS-8 observation fusion thread consists of establishing systematic conformance tests for the web coverage service suite. A WCS test suite is essential to allow products to be branded by OGC as WCS conformant. Tests implemented for WCS 1.x are outdated and have known issues. In OWS 8, tests have been implemented for the stable WCS specifications existing. New specifications will have to be instrumented with tests as they get mature. A unique challenge was posed by OGC's modular core extension specification model. Never before a test has been written for such a set of conformance classes with their manifold dependencies. An immediate consequence is that the team engine scripts performing the test have to be modularized. Two, the issue is how to accomplish this. To understand the situation, let us look at the use of OGC's team engine. For each specification requirement, a corresponding conformance test is established. It is abstract, that is, a high-level description. Its implementation, the executable test script, or ETS, gets invoked in a particular implementation, the so-called standardization target. Currently, OGC testing focuses on servers only. The ETS script challenges a server under test gets through a series of concrete test situations. As mentioned before, these tests, which together make up the test suite, are connected through manifold dependencies. Sometimes, several other tests must have succeeded before the next test can meaningfully be conducted. This establishes a logical AND prerequisite addition. Sometimes, at least one antecedent test must have succeeded. For example, at least one service protocol must have passed the test before the service as such can be assessed. This leads to a logical OR combination. In software engineering, the resulting dependency graph is known as AND OR trees. Our test philosophy understands such AND OR dependencies and constructs a minimal complete test sequence in a semantically appropriate linearization. Let us take a concrete look at the test suite implemented. Through a web browser interface, the team engine front end allows us to select the test suite to be executed. Once invoked, the test performs its request against the server under test and generates corresponding log output. Vendors then can analyze any eventual failure reported, helping them to efficiently proceed with eliminating conformance discrepancies. Conformance test development in OWS8 has led to several substantial results. First, a testing framework for the WCS 2.0 suite has been established. Second, Tests have been established for several specifications essential for any WCS use. GML coverage data structures can be checked, WCS core functionality, the GET and POST protocol bindings, as well as EOWCS. Third, through this groundbreaking work, a way has been established for all future OGC specifications to easily establish the tests while respecting all semantics dependencies. Tests have been executed against three WCS implementations underway, Rosdemon, Map Server, and the GMU Server. By way of this cross-testing, the test suite itself has been verified. Hence, once all work is finished, OGC can offer WCS conformance branding to vendors. Work isn't done though. The emerging specifications will need to follow the same approach and get equipped with abstract test suites and executable test scripts. Further, the test bed itself requires continuous maintenance, including support for vendors. Hopefully, future funding will be available to preserve and evolve this asset.